Well, hello, buddy. It's Old Man Outdoors. This is John, and I'm in the middle of a project. Thought I'd bring you up to date right here. I recently bought a little uh, bass raider, pond raider, whatever Academy sells, a little 10-foot job over there. Kind of got tired of the big boats with all the big expenses and decided to go the plastic boat route. But I don't have a truck. All I've got is a little Honda Element. That's my fishing car. So I'll show you what I did to transform a little 4x8 utility trailer into my pond raider, bass raider, 10-foot little plastic boat trailer. Here, I'll show you what it did. Well, as you can step back and take a look at it, uh, this is, uh, first you'll notice it has an expanded metal bottom to it. It's not all wood. I like that because that makes it very lightweight, or rather lightweight. It's not super lightweight. It is a steel trailer, uh, but it uh, pulls real easily with my little element. The uh, What I've done here, if you notice along the sides, I've just got some pipe insulation that keeps the boat from bumping up against it and scarring it up. It is a new boat, so I guess for the time being, I need to be a little bit particular about it. Also on the end, I've put uh, pipe uh, insulation on it to prevent it from bumping. Now, uh, pay no attention to the spare tire. The spare tire is gonna be mounted up underneath it. I'll, I'll show a separate video on how I did that. Uh, but all I did, I just took some two by eight by eight foot long treated lumber and with two carriage bolts. Now the carriage bolts, as you can see, are countersunk. Here's one right here. They're countersunk where the it's uh, uh, below the surface of it, so the boat slides really well when it does. And the boat does slide up on it extremely well. Along the sides here, I've just got these two little, uh, I don't know, arrows, air shafts I guess for lack of a better term to do that now the beauty of this is if I ever want to go back and use my trailer which I do I mean I will be using my trailer for other things beside a boat trailer all I have to do is is just take those two uh, uh, carriage bolts out one on each end total of four and then slide the trailer uh, tailgate back in it just slides in from the side so don't be afraid to transfer, uh, transform one of these little trailers over into a bass boat trailer uh, if you have one of these little plastic boats. It's not hard or difficult nor expensive to do. Not much to it at all. Anyway, this is John, Old Man Outdoors. Y'all have a good day and get out and enjoy God's great outdoors. We'll see you on the next video.